Are you really ready? Yes, yes, yes sir. One, two, three, lift. Whoa. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, okay. I lift up the mystery box and I'm seeing some dried legumes and a couple vegetables. Oh my gosh. I see seeds, some tofu. I have no idea. What are we doing? Not the ingredients that you normally would think of when you think comfort food. Tonight, you'll be creating a comfort food dish using only plant-based products. It used to be that the vegetarian option was simply hold the meat. But we've come a long way with plant-based proteins like tempeh, seitan, and beans. I am completely unfamiliar with everything under this mystery box. Normally at home, every night, there is a protein that is the focal point of dinner. Your dish can either be savory or sweet and come from any culture you desire. The world is your oyster or whatever the plant-based alternative is for oysters. <laughs> <laughs> So are you ready to prove you have a green thumb in cooking? Yes, yes chef. chef! Your 60 minutes starts now. Oh my goodness, this is phenomenal. So many amazing ingredients, seriously. I wish I could have this pantry all the time. I get so heavy. Today I'm making peaches and cream. It's ultimate comfort. I feel like people think I can't cook sweet, but I can. I want to show up to these guys that I'm a little bit of a threat. I think because I wasn't a runner-up in my season that a lot of people here underestimate me. I want to prove to the judges that I'm a competitor. And I want to prove that I can do sweet as well as savory. When I was on MasterChef Canada the first time, I really felt like I didn't show everything I had. The pastry cream, not so good. I can't taste the vanilla at all. Back then, I was tripped up by the dessert. But I want to grow in this kitchen. I need to push myself. So I'm going to flambe the peaches with brandy, and I'm going to do a chai spice vegan creme anglaise. Taking this risk is scary. If I can't execute properly, there's a great chance that I will go home. You know, it's really difficult to replace butter, so it's really amazing that Bay Cells created a plant-based product that acts like butter. It's a really great tool that we didn't have in the past. Hey, Andrew. Chef, how are you? Looks like you're making something sweet. <laughs> I think I am. And you notice how beautiful that camel eyes with the alternative butter because it doesn't burn as quickly. Tell me, what are you doing there? Some nice caramelized peaches with crumble on top, baked yeah. in the oven. A nice pour of creme anglaise made yeah. with silken tofu. Okay. Some of the soy milk. Yes. It's chai spiced. And then I'm doing a pistachio praline. Very excited about this dish, but remember, must look good. Yes, that's the plan. Thank you, chef. I'm going to be making a praline for our, on top of the peaches. I need to cook some sugar to the right temperature then add some crushed nuts, pumpkin seeds, and hemp hearts. My goal is try to elevate it as much as I can. Let's go into the freezer. My praline is everything in this peaches and cream dish. Because of it's such a simple concept, it needs to look perfect. I'm taking so many small components, flowers, small leaves of mint, coconut shavings, coarse pistachios, a little bit of shaved chocolate, and a little bit of grated lime. And I'm perfectly placing it along the circle so that it looks very textural. My goal for this dish is to make it look like a garden of excitement. Hopefully this works. I don't know if it's going to. It's, I've never really done this before. This praline is very thin and snappable. I have to be very careful, otherwise it's gonna break apart. Two minutes, only two more minutes left. Oh my God. <sighs> Shoot. I wanna see beautiful presentation. Last minute pomegranate reduction. Coming out of the oven. I'm looking in at the pie dough, and I realize it looks a little pale. One minute! You only have one more minute left! Come on, get Come it, on, boys! One minute! Let's go. Let's go! I'm rushing on my plating, but I'm also trying to stay calm so that the plate doesn't look messy. I have no choice but to impress. 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Heads up! <laughs> well done, guys. Well done, everybody. Oh, you guys are awesome. Holy smoke. Do it. Andrew, head on up to the podium. The last time I cooked a sweet in the MasterChef Canada kitchen, I was eliminated. Of course I'm nervous. Today, I prepared for you peaches and cream. All plant-based, I've made a short crust and pistachio praline, chai spice creme anglaise with silken tofu and soy milk. Andrew, I love the look of this. Not only does it look like a restaurant quality dish, it looks like a three Michelin star dish. <laughs> Good for you. And you're no pastry chef, right? Not at all. Wow, look at that. You've made an error in judgment. You don't think you're a great pastry chef, and you are. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is the best peaches and cream I've ever tasted. You should be proud of yourself. Thank you. That's amazing. Andrew, I guess you're feeling pretty good now. <laughs> I was worried for a second there, but uh, yes. Question is, does it live up to the hype? It exceeds it. Thank you. I love the flavors, the freshness of those peaches, and the lemon I saw you put in really accentuates the flavor of those fruits. And your creme anglaise, light and creamy and yet warming. It really is a lovely, lovely little dessert. Yes. You knocked it out of the park. Well done, Andrew. Thank you. Good job, Andrew. Awesome work, buddy. Amazing. I feel so proud. Hearing the judges say that it looks like a three Michelin star dish, it's the highest praise. It's the highest praise. Plant-based cuisine is not simple to master. But you would know that based on the dishes we tasted tonight. There was one dish that wasn't just a good vegan dessert, but it was a knockout dessert, period. The cook who made that heavenly treat was... Andrew. Great work, buddy. Well done. I won! <laughs> I took a huge risk today, and it feels very good to win my first challenge this season. Congratulations, Andrew. You've earned a big advantage in next week's challenge, and you'll have a recipe based on your peaches and cream featured on the Basel website. Wow, okay. Thank you, chef. You just showed off your skills making pasta. But in Italy, pasta isn't a meal in itself. It's just the first course, the primi piatti. For your next challenge, you'll be making the secondi, the second and main course. <laughs> but first, we have a treat for you. Oh, it's fancy. Okay. A cocktail. It's customary to have a palate cleanser at this stage of an Italian dinner. So we prepared for you a scropino, a combination of lemon sorbet, prosecco, and vodka. Come on up and help yourself. <laughs> there are advantages to being down here. <laughs> Salute. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Now, there are countless options for mouth-watering secondi, but there are also a number of beloved classics. We have prepared three of them to show you today. Eggplant parmigiana. Breaded eggplant with rich layers of mozzarella, parmesan, and tomato sauce. Veal saltimbocca, oh, a sumptuous dish of sauteed veal cutlets layered with prosciutto and sage in a masala wine sauce. And chicken cacciatore, a rustic hunter stew made with chicken, tomatoes, and vegetables. Tonight, you will have to cook one of these secondi, but this is not a replication challenge. We want these rustic Italian dishes to inspire your own fresh 
interpretations. Mm -hmm. I'm totally exhausted in season five. I spent a lot of time on the balcony watching these situations. This time, I'm in the lion's den, and it's time to fight. Your time starts now. Get some eggplant here. Those are going to be crucial. There's no time to prepare and think through exactly what this concept's going to look like. Oh, time. This is just going to have to happen from within. You Sage, I'm nervous, but I want my kids to see their mommy just be so brave. Got some rabbit. So I have to push myself to stay in this competition. Oh, my goodness. Let's go, guys. 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 What do you got working there, Andy? Almost like a baba ganoush, like an Italian-style baba ganoush. Nice. There we go, there we go. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Hey there, Andy. Jeff, how are we doing? You are reinventing the eggplant parmigiana. How do you feel about that? I cook with a lot of vegetables at home, so I am feeling pretty comfortable that I'll be able to pull something up. Take me through your ideas and what you're doing. I love Middle Eastern food, so I'm kind of drawing from that. As soon as I see eggplant, I think baba ganoush. And then on top of that, we're going to have some crispy eggplants, confit, tomatoes, lemon ricotta, and then a Parmesan twill that I'm going to put on the top as well. There are two other cooks in this kitchen going up against you. Yeah. Who out of those two do you think is going to be your greatest challenge? Both. I was in season five with Jen, and her growth is amazing. I'm very intimidated. Andre, he's a runner-up as well. He's incredible with flavors, so that scares me because he's major competition. The bar is up here, and you've all got to get over it. That's exactly it. Good luck. I look forward Thank to trying it. Thank you, Andy. For me to go deep in this competition, I am going to have to prove to every single person up on the balcony that not only did I finish second in season five, I'm here to win this. Keep it up, Andy. Yeah. Good job, guys. OK. OK. It's gonna be tight. Yeah. It's looking good. Okay. Oh, oh, stop the clock! What happened? We know you're hard at work on your second course, but come on, guys. Who's ever heard of an Italian meal with only two courses? Oh, please don't do it. Don't do it. That's why we're adding one more, a contorno. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? OK. Oh, God. It's just like, what? I have no clue what to do with this. The contorno is a vegetable or salad side dish. You can make anything you want, but it has to pair well with your secondi. Oh, my goodness. Wow. OK, let's do it. Your time starts now. Oh, let's go take a look. In only 30 minutes left, they now have two dishes. One they have to start from scratch, and the other one they need to get finished all on time. Oh, my good God! When you get a curveball, you are in a crisis. Don't overthink it. Don't overcomplicate things. Just stay calm. Trust it, trust it, trust it, trust it. You know, in seven seasons, we have seen that adversity brings the best out in most cooks we see. Ooh. Andy, how you doing? I'm feeling pretty good. That was quite a little trick you guys are playing on us there. What are you making for your contorne? They're going to go for an orange and fennel salad with some fresh burrata. Everyone has someone they think about that inspires them. Who inspires you? Uh, my wife. She's been my number one support. She's at home right now with my two little girls, so I can chase this. Well, I'm going to leave you to it. Focus. Thank you, chef. I left a lot at home, but I know it's worth it because the opportunity on the other side of this is enormous. So I am not gonna go down without a fight. I just have to keep on putting one foot in front of the other and see what comes out. One minute! One more minute left! Come on! One more minute! Yeah! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey, Pat! I love both the dishes. If this is the end of the uh, Master Chef for me, I'm proud of these dishes. It's all quite emotional. What comes out of you in these moments? 
Andy, please bring both your dishes to the front. Andy, what's going on with you? <sighs> There's moments that I'm questioning, should I be here? Am I good enough for this? And then I look at this, and whether I go home or not, I'm just really proud of myself. Wow. Well, you're right to be proud of yourself. Thank you, Chef. So tell me exactly what you did here. So what we have along the bottom is a creamed charred eggplant. On top of that is crispy breaded eggplant, some lemon and thyme ricotta, comfy cherry tomatoes, and finished with a Parmesan twill. This is sensational. Thank you, Chef. All the flavors, they work so well together. The ricotta, the tomatoes add that little pop of flavor and explosion in your mouth. The eggplant is fried perfectly. You took a vegetable and you turned it into two different applications on one plate. Really smart cooking. Thank you, Chef. I like the look of this, but I'm gonna let my fellow judges try this. Thank you, Chef. Presentation, Andy, is beautiful. Your contorni. Here, we have some fresh burrata, oranges, caramelized fennel, a little bit of balsamic glaze, as well as crispy capers. It's beautiful. Thank you. Those flavor combinations work together so well. Without that orange, that balsamic glaze would have been just a tad too sweet. It is perfectly balanced. The only thing I sort of crave with this is maybe something a little bitter, like a radicchio mm. leaf or an endive, and together, they are two dishes that really exceed and excel. This is restaurant food, restaurant presentation, and you are cooking like a master chef. Thanks, chef. Thank you, Andy. Thank you. Well done, Andy. Well done. Well done. Well done. Yeah. These judges have been so fundamentally important in my development as a cook, so I'm really proud to show them what I was able to do under this pressure. Christopher, Taya, Andy. You fought your way through the toughest culinary challenge this country has ever seen. It must feel so much more gratifying to be standing here, considering the brilliant competition you had to beat. <laughs> the people in that gallery are truly some of the toughest contenders we've ever seen in this kitchen. So, for the last time, are you ready? Yes, yes Chef! chef. Your time starts. Now! Deja vu here. I am on Team Andy. Andy has proven time and time again that no challenge will foil him. A little pork belly could be fun. His food speaks to my soul. That's looking good. Passion fruit, nice. I'm rooting for my boy, Chris, because his skills are unparalleled, in my opinion. Duck fat. He's a wizard, especially when it comes to baking. Oh, I need to give him cream cheese. It's beautiful artichokes. I'm rooting for my girl, Taya. She has been putting out some banging dishes this year. Definitely getting some of these. And she's just grown so much as a person and in the kitchen. Some chilies here. Right now, what's blowing my mind is there's three people. So much talent on one stage. Battle Royale. Push, push, push. You got this, you got this. I uh, look at my ice cream base, and it is just goop. I realized I added way too much thickener to it. I can't believe I made such a basic mistake. Christopher looks really stressed right now. Come on. I knew coming into this course exactly how much starch I needed to add, and I still managed to mess it up. I'm panicking. No, I need to thin it down a little bit. I put a little too much starch in it. Come on. The only way I can fix it is by blending it with more chicken stock and cream. Good call, Chris. Yep. And then I'm going to try to fortify the flavor with some more fish sauce and lime juice, and hopefully that will save it. Yeah. Better? Yeah, much better. That looks better. Now I hope I have enough time to finish it in my ice cream maker. Cooking is not just a physical act, it's a mental act. There's so much pressure, especially when the stakes are so high. Come on, guys. It's all right. There it is. 
worried about here. Oh, Tay is plating. I'm pushing as hard as I can. There's a lot of ambitious cooking happening right now. They really need to hustle. I need to let the venison cook till the very last second. It's hard to watch. It really is. Yeah, this looks OK. That's just incredible. My taro nest eggs look great, but the duck breast is the star of the show, and it has to be cooked to a perfect medium rare. So the duck breast is coming right now. It looked beautiful. Oh, oh beautiful. Oh. Once this coconut snow hits the plate, it's going to give a beautiful smoky effect. Look how pretty it looks. I feel like I'm really bringing something. I will really wow the judges. This is insanity. You guys got this. Hurry, hurry, hurry. One minute, your last minute in this kitchen. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That's the most insane thing I've ever seen. Looking good. Looking that looks good. so looking real cool. good. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and it's up! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Oh, my God. You guys! I thought that having three dishes that I had laid out and planned would be a walk in the park, but man, my brain is mush. Christopher, Taya, Andy, the three of you came back here for one reason, to win the life-changing title that eluded you the first time you were in this kitchen. Unfortunately, only one of you can be Canada's next master chef. But after what we saw tonight, there's no doubt that all three of you are winners. And it's our opinion that winners deserve prizes. Oh. That's why we're sending all three of you home tonight with your very own chef's package of Mila Kitchen yeah. Appliances. Oh, your luxury package includes a Mila gas range and hood. Wow. Ooh. Stainless steel refrigerator. Oh my God. And dishwasher. Oh, amazing. Wow. Great. And this package is valued at over $18,000. Amazing. Oh, amazing. Yes. The journeys that you've taken to reach this point are more epic than any in MasterChef Canada history. And that remarkable achievement has earned you the right to change places with us. Chefs. Wow. Good luck, good luck. Good luck. I've done the best I can. I'm tired. It was a long journey. No matter what, I've done myself proud. Season four, I felt like I was never good enough, even in the finale. And now, I just feel really good. It's sad to see this chapter of my life come to an end. MasterChef Canada will always be home for me. It changed my life, and I'm proud that I kept a smile on my face for the entire competition, as brutal as it got. After a long and difficult discussion, we decided that one cook left a more lasting impression. That competitor will win $100,000, this trophy, and the life-changing title. This year's winner and Canada's new master chef is... Christopher. Congratulations, Christopher. I can't believe it. This is insane. I can't even describe it. <laughs> it's a symbol of all the dedication, the sleepless nights, the countless hours that I put in and chasing my food dream. There's no greater reward at this moment than this.